Praise the Lord and good morning. I thank the Lord for each and every one of you. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. The subject of our devotional today is wisdom in action. Wisdom is what we seek. Wisdom, especially during this time of COVID, during this time of racial unrest, during this time of trying to figure out how you how you go about what you should believe, what, what is it that you think? And we're seeking a pathway, an understanding of that of wisdom, of understanding uh, that makes sense to a child of God to pick through all the different elements that make up our world, trying to figure out why the world is waxing worse and worse when the Lord already told you by prophecy is going to wax worse and worse, which means that we have to be more aggressive in our wisdom and our understanding than ever before. How we, how we allow the word to deal in us and with us. And in this devotional that's entitled Wisdom in Action and, and, and James really understanding you know, the necessity of faith and works. Where is this wisdom? And who is wise? Who is wise and who understands among us? You can tell when there is a humility, a, a meekness that doesn't grow within itself. It doesn't lift up the individual. It is the words that do the lifting, not attached to an individual. And many times in our politics, it's really about how this person is over this person and how I can lead over this and lead over that. And when you take the individual out of it and you begin to deal with what they are saying, it is out of their humility, out of their meekness, out of how they deliver sound judgment, sound understanding of the issues and the pathway forward without any regard to themselves. That becomes wisdom and that is what we seek. That then is wisdom in action. When you are faced with a grieving situation, when you're faced with attacks from in front and from behind, where you are, where you are addressing tragedy, where then is wisdom and where is understanding? It is in you. It is, the Lord has already given you not the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, the spirit of understanding. He's given you what you need in order to make it in this world. He's given you the wisdom that is necessary for you to make it in this world. This has been a moment of grace with Dr. Brazier. May God bless you and may God keep you in Jesus' name.